Hi, this is Richard Azerga from Microsoft, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a solution that showcases all the different extensibility features of Microsoft Teams. Now, I'm going to sideload this app, and therefore, you need to do a few things. One is in your tenant, you need to make sure that uh, it's set up to allow sideloading, which is something that a tenant admin can do. Um, and then also, I'd recommend inside of Teams, go down to your name under about and make sure that you've enabled developer preview because this is going to use some preview features that aren't GA yet and that will light those up. So I'm going to go ahead and sideload this app and the app is a, uh, a solution inside of Teams that allows you to manage a stock portfolio. Uh, so I'll go ahead here and say manage my team and this manage my team it'll show the members, the channels, the settings but also the apps and you'll see that I have some sideloaded apps. This one says it's sideloaded. And then I have some apps that are in full production, like Poly here. Down at the bottom right, I can sideload an additional app. So I'll go, go ahead and pick my manifest file here. Um, and this will sideload this inside of this tenant. Now, something really interesting just happened as I sideload this app. Um, you'll notice that I have a new message in the general channel. Um, and that's actually a welcome message from the bot that's a part of this solution. And that's, this is actually a best practice that if you're building a bot for Teams is that you want to uh, send a welcome message when it's added to a team. And so you can see here, it just gives a little bit of information on how you use this, um, this bot. So let's, let's do a little bit of this. Let's maybe, um, I've actually had this loaded in the tenant before. So let's see what stocks I already have in my portfolio. So I'll just do an at mention here of stocks. And um, when I do this, you'll notice that um, it gives me some suggestions uh, again, this is kind of a neat extension of a bot inside of Teams as we can list some kind of help menus here. So I'm going to say stocks list and that's going to go out to our bot and hopefully our bot will come back and say, hey, it's getting our, stick, our six different stocks in our portfolio and we'll be able to see uh, the details there. So this will take just a second and then you can scroll through. You can see I have Microsoft, I have, it looks like Facebook. And I can get kind of real-time quotes about these. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe, let's remove Microsoft from the portfolio and I can show you how I can add that back. Um, now, one of the other things that you'll notice is that I have a view detail here. Um, another component of this is let's say that I wanted to see like more of like a detailed chart of Microsoft stock over a, a period of time. Well, a bot may not be the best tool for that and, and Teams having the concept of a tab makes this a, a really good experience. So I'm gonna add the tab here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and you can see I have a stocks tab. And this is where I could maybe configure some settings. Maybe if I wanted to set some limits, um, this is a screen that I can actually modify, but in this case, I'll just uh, leave it as is. And here you can see all of my different stocks and then it's gonna do like real time loading of those. But here's where it gets really neat. If I go back to my conversations, let's maybe add uh, Microsoft. So let's look at the command for that. That would be um, add and then the symbol. So we'll just say at stocks, add MSFT. That's gonna add this to our portfolio. Um, and it says, if you wanna view it, you can click here. So we'll click here. That's gonna take me not only to the tab inside of Microsoft Teams, but it's giving me this detailed view. So this is a really good example of a visual that would be hard to achieve in a bot. And the tab does a really nice job of that. But the cool thing is, is that we provided this rich deep linking and that's kind of a really, uh, I think key case between a bot and a tab is being able to do these rich deep linking between the two. So you can see actually it looks like Microsoft stock's been trending really nicely. Um, and I was able to deep link directly uh, to this. Um, from this tab, I can really do anything I want. It's my own canvas where I can, you know, maybe uh, provide additional functionality. In this case, I can do some refreshes. I can view details. Um, I can also get deep links. If I wanted to send someone a deep link to maybe uh, Microsoft, I can click on this link. I can copy this. I could go to a completely different area. So let me go into like research and development here and I'll I'll paste this link. If I click on this link, watch what happens. It still knows to take me to the correct channel where this is. And again, that's the benefit of these deep links is, um, you know, they're, they're a really cool 
use case for um, having a tab. Um, and the other thing that I would mention here is this is just web content that I'm loading in my tab, but it doesn't have to be, it can feel very much a part of Microsoft Teams. In fact, I'll, I'll show you a cool example of that is if I were to go and change my theme here from default to dark, you notice that my tab also took on that same theme and that's some of the functionality that you can wire up inside of your Teams is to be, or your tab is to be able to do some of those rich things. Um, the last thing that I'll point out here is that you've seen, um, you know, kind of that, that rich integration between both the bot and my, uh, my tab, but I can even take this further. If I go back to conversations, we're leveraging our bot to do a compose extension. Let's say that I just want to maybe have a conversation around the latest Microsoft stock price. What I can do here is now under the ellipse is all of these things down by the uh, conversation window are what are called compose extensions. Um, you know, adding an animated GIF, that's a compose extension. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add, I'm gonna leverage my stocks uh, app to uh, do a compose extension. So I'll click on this and I can search for a symbol. So I could search MSFT and you can see it's gonna go and do a lookup and find that stock and give me a real-time quote. Um, another way that I can invoke this is just by typing. I can say stocks and I can tab here and you notice that in addition to some commands, I can also do a search. So I can search directly for here for a specific stock. In this case, I see it has multiple matches, but I'll select Microsoft and I can say, hey, check out the latest quote, looking good. Um, and so, you know, really cool way of using, leveraging your bot as part of like composing a message with compose extensions. Um, and so again, this is a, a really neat capability of the extensibility model. Um, there's also cases where these notificate or these messages can show up in the activity feed. So actually sending in notifications and you saw some of that. So you can see stocks here are actually uh, sending notifications into the activity feed. So it's an, kind of another interesting aspect of this. So hopefully this illustrates the kind of the rich capability of, of building a comprehensive solution, not just a tab, not just a bot, not just a compose extension, but how all of these can be uh, delivered together as a, a nice comprehensive solution inside of Teams. Um, so um, this is available on GitHub. You can simply just take the manifest and sideload it into your uh, tenant, uh, or you can kind of dig deep inside of the code and see how things are done. So thanks and happy coding with Microsoft Teams.